Thursday, a wet day. We left Durham this morning. Um, we've been on the road for about three hours. Uh, we're heading east towards Kitty Hawk, which is on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And the territory is now quite flat, has been for a long time. We've decided to pull into Plymouth, one of the 20 or odd Plymouths in the States. This one is Plymouth in North Carolina. Head of the Albemarle Strait and uh, the mouth right. of the Roanoke River. It's a long turn right, but um, we'll leave, we're going to leave first. Don't leave first. It's the mouth of the Roanoke River at Plymouth. I understand that there has been the odd sighting of the odd gator or ten. Back up river at Plymouth. It's the main street of Plymouth. We've just enjoyed a very pleasant meal, sandwiches, at the Garden Restaurant. Two young, I think they might be university students serving us, full of life and interest. This is an ironclad ship boat contraption that was built to stealthily approach British ships during the night and sink them during the Civil War. Moored now in Plymouth, North Carolina, on the Roanoke River. They grow a lot of cotton around here. This is just some of it. you're cruising 70 miles an hour at the moment. It's all so flat you can't get a reference. Probably rice paddocks, right next to the cotton. We're just near, we've just left Columbia, we're about to go over a big bridge. And this is the Albemarle, Albemarle Straits. We're going to go over that bridge. They're all parked in a little, what would you call it, inlet, I guess, off the Alligator River we were looking at. That's where we are. We're about to go over. I'd make some money if I sold that to the sheriff. The Gator River National Wildlife Refuge. Why do they shut the refuge down to the animals as well as to the, the people? Watch out the birds, you can't come. Yeah. <laughs> we shut down birds, you can't come in. Well, now we're going over the bridge to Roanoke Island. Over Croton Sound, or Croton Sound, I don't know how they pronounce it. Yeah. Still got miles to go. Is this one or three holiday houses over here. On, uh, I don't know where, because I don't know where we are. <laughs> Manteo Island, I don't know, I think we are. I think we're going over to Roanoke Island now. Coming over to Roanoke. This is the town of Nags Head on Roanoke Island. Going down towards Cape Terrace first. Get to Kitty Hawk. Keep right, S Virginia the Trail. Then Turn right. National Park Information Centre, notice how empty it is. Sand and water on the road, how about that? We're really just driving on a sand spit with <laughs> some sandy, salty, scrubby plants holding it together. We're going across to Hatteras now. Wildlife 
of refuge. Well, instead of snow, it's sand. Look, it's just this sandbar between us and the ocean. And I suspect at high tide and in mild weather, the ocean winds. It's always one, yeah, idiot. Reach your destination on your right. We've come south as far as Salvo on Hatiris Island. Given that most of it is national park and therefore closed and roped off, or holiday places teetering on the sand, and there's nowhere for us to stay, we're going back for 45 minutes or 32 miles, depending on what you speak to a hotel almost where we got onto the uh, sandbanks in the first place, the Ramada. So, we're seeing it all from the other way now. My goodness, the places people choose to stay. They just take my sand off the road. Mm, I think so, I think so. Must have been over in quite a huge quantity. stay somewhere here. We've just booked into our hotel and we've almost got ocean views. We've got sandbank ocean views. This is the misty damp view from our Nags Head Hotel. Head fishing pier. You have to have a pass to get out there though. Oh, do you see that? out the pier we'll go to the end now. It's looking back down Nags Head Pier. Oh. And dunes on the outer banks now at out near Ned's Nags Head. Persimmons growing in the sand dunes. I saw a red fox, but he didn't sit still like this chap. He was running with his tail flat out behind him. I think that might have been the reason why I was hot tailing it out of here. They're um, kite flying up on the top of the sand ridges over there. Love this house. I'd love to sit up on the roof like that and see out on a really wild, windy, hurricane day as the surf came and undermined my house beyond below me. We've come down to Jeanette's pier at this time. 
much more substantial construction than uh, Nags Head. At least we've seen one court. <laughs> Is it like that all day? Yeah. Oh dear. Oh well, it's nice to see one. That looks like Pitt Street. What time? Maybe it must be up. Yeah.